Welcome to Simply Sustainable, Atlas Copco's guide to improving the sustainability and profitability of your manufacturing process. I'm Brian Wojciechowski, your host, and today we're back on the shop floor looking for new ways to introduce sustainable process improvements to your manufacturing. Do you guys hear metal? No, not that kind of metal. I mean, someone's been grinding metal this entire time we've been here. Let's go see what they're up to. What's going on over here? Hey, Brian. Yeah, I've been spending the last 15 minutes trying to make a single cut. It's just taking forever. It's a pretty slow grinder. Don't you have anything bigger? Well, I have this GTG22, but every time I give it a little feed force, the motor stalls out. So at this point, I'm just using anything I can get to work. I think I know who we could talk to about this. Hey, guys. Oh, hey, Steve. I was just giving you a call. So let me guess. You're trying to use the smaller grinder to cut this metal, too, because... Your new turbine grinder keeps stalling out anytime you give it some substantial feed force. Is that correct? Yeah, you must have a sixth sense for this kind of thing. No, actually, I've just been here the entire time. <laughs> oh, I can already see what's going on here. Do you know what your CFM is? Something is restricting the airflow to the tool. CFM? I mean, we keep our regulator set to 91 PSI, so everything should be fine. Well, your regulator is set correctly, but PSI doesn't tell the full story. PSI on the gauge is showing the static pressure of the airline, but CFM, or cubic feet per minute, measures how much air is flowing through the line. Let's hook the GTG22 back up with an inline pressure gauge so we can see what happens when we run the tool. You should expect to see the pressure drop a few PSI when you pull the trigger, but as you can see, the pressure drop is significant. This tells me right away that the tool is using more air than what's being delivered to it. Ah, okay, so the smaller grinder runs fine because it requires less air to run, but shouldn't that cost less money? Sure, if you're not factoring work output. A large grinder with higher CFM requirements can actually cost less to run than a smaller grinder due to decreased trigger time. The power of a grinder is directly related to how much material it can remove and how fast it can do it. If the tool is not getting the required airflow, it's being underpowered, which can lead to extended production time, work stoppages, and scrap. It can even reduce the life of your grinding discs, leading to higher consumable costs. Okay, last time, the hose was the culprit. It's not another leak, is it? No leaks this time, and it's not just the hose. All airline accessories have an airflow rating, so you can make sure that you're delivering the correct amount of air to your tools. This is a quarter inch hose, so right away I can tell it won't deliver enough air to effectively power the GTG22. The hose coupling and tool nip are also too small, which is why the operator has an expander, as you can see here. While these accessories are properly rated for a smaller tool, such as a screwdriver or a drill, they can't deliver enough air to power a turbine grinder. Let's hook up some properly sized accessories and check things out with the inline gauge again. And there you have it. There's no significant pressure drop, and with the correct CFM, this GTG22 will cut through that tube like a hot knife through butter. Wow, that's pretty impressive. Do you have any other tips? Of course. Since the airflow is always dictated by your smallest accessory, we recommend using the CFM requirements of the tool and working backwards to ensure everything is rated properly. If matching up everything seems really confusing, Atlas Copco also carries productivity kits that come with all the accessories needed to run the tool properly. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to your local Atlas Copco representative and we can get you the help you need. All right. It sounds like you can increase productivity and save money by making sure that your accessories are appropriately sized. That sounds pretty metal. No, I was going to say it sounds like increased sustainability. Now, let me give that a shot. It's really impressive how much of an impact having the appropriately sized hoses and airline accessories can have on the sustainability of your manufacturing process. For more tips and suggestions about sustainability just like this one, join us for the next episode of Simply Sustainable.